What's up guys? So the plan for today is to hit a 610 SSB squat. So the bar itself weighs 70 pounds and my previous PR was 600. So if I add six plates, it will take me up to 610. So uh, hopefully it goes well. Plan does not get hurt. We'll see how it goes. So I know a lot of you are not familiar with safe squat bar and many of you have probably never even had one on your back. Um, for those of you who have, you'll know that it was designed by the devil and it makes a squat much harder in my opinion. What it was originally designed for was guys coming back from shoulder injuries or for individuals who did not possess the shoulder mobility to get their arms back for a traditional barbell squat. That's why you see my hands up front there. Um, like I said before, it makes the movement much tougher. And for me personally, it corrects any mistakes that I might have as far as my core tipping forward, because if you tip forward, it punishes you. So if your gym does have one of these, a lot of them do these days. So look around, ask somebody who you think would know, but I cannot recommend this enough. I personally got mine about six months ago and have seen awesome carryover to my deadlift and also historically if my safety squat bar numbers go up then my squat numbers climb as well. If your focus is strongman, I know a lot of people will recommend front squats over the back squat and I 100% agree with that. However, I would probably even recommend this over the front squat for strongmen simply because for core stability and then upper and mid back strength and power development, you really, really cannot beat this bar. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, so 520 went well. Uh, next jump will be 570. And if that goes well, then I'm jumping to 610. Hopefully. Pre-workout's definitely working. Awesome. So as I previously mentioned at the beginning of the video, my current PR before this day was 600 pounds even. And this is 570. This is a no joke weight for me. If I tip it all forward at this weight, it shoves me right back down and I miss a lift. So all I'm focusing on is core tightness and just trying to stay as upright as possible by pushing my knees out to initiate the movement. Now here I jump to 610 which would be a 10 pound PR. And the only problem is I can't really count it. You guys will see what happens here. But there's a little Lord of the Dance thing happening towards the end. I'm rack, kind of bumping around. I'm getting tight here, focusing on my breathing, my bracing, pushing my knees out. And I get backwards right there. And I start dancing around. Real dicey, guys. That could have been bad. That was close. All right, so 610 went okay, but I stumbled on the back, so I think I'm gonna try load 620 and get it clean. I'm not gonna lie here, the 610 dancing act was definitely in my head, but I didn't wanna count it because it wouldn't have counted if that was a powerlifting meet and I would have had to take those steps on a squat. So I threw fives on. And I went for the 620, which as you'll see here, it actually went better than the 610. I think it moved faster, definitely cleaner when standing up. So 20 pound PR for the day, extremely happy with that and moving forward. All right guys, so that was the workout. The 610 definitely got dicey. I was all over the place like Lord Dance. It was ugly. Um, Probably not the best for longevity or life. Don't do that. Um, happy to hit 620. That is 20 pound PR. Really glad that I got cleanly and ended the workout on a high note. After that, I would like to tell you that I did a whole lot more, but I didn't. Those squats wrecked me. So I hit some of my volume stuff and called it a day. It's just how it goes some days. Um, all right, finally. Thank you guys for watching. I, ah. Finally guys, thank you so much. It's insane how bad at this I am.
so ridiculous. Finally, guys, thank you for watching the video. <laughs> thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends about it, share it. It seems a lot less like I'm a jerk if you guys share it rather than me. So that would help me out a lot. <laughs> um, if you guys are interested in following my training, I keep a link to my training log down below. You can always check out what we're doing here at the gym at neverstate.com. My Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, all of that is down below. Um, in the description box. I do really appreciate it guys. Until next time, keep working hard and I'll see you then.